Hi, welcome to the first episode of Chef Nisi. Um, today we're making sea bass with mash and mixed veg. There's a few items that I didn't end up putting in just because I changed my mind. Yeah. So we've got the sea bass fillets here from Aldi, I believe. Wash them, put them in a bowl. Grab the seafood and fish seasoning. I haven't used this in I don't I don't think I've used it before actually. So I can check and see what's actually in it. Because I don't know what seasoning is actually in it. Anyway, yep, that's what it looks like. I didn't put too much because I don't really like to over season. Grab the Pyrex. Don't know why my fingers look yellow like that. Gosh. So just grab I just grab the the, the fillets like that and I slap them in the uh the parrex it's just about wide enough to fit all of them cover it with some foil and put that into the oven for about half an hour i think i put it on like mm, 200 maybe 190 so we're going to move on to the mash now peel the potatoes and peel the second potato I've got two normal potatoes and one sweet potato. My camera battery died, so I had to change my angles and charge the camera while it was recording. I chopped the potatoes around this size so that it speeds up the process of the potato cooking time. I actually had the water boiling on a low heat whilst I was chopping up the potatoes so it can get a bit warmer to, I don't know, speed up the process or something. I'm really learning as I go along, if you guys don't know this already. But yeah, that's uh, the potatoes, just leave that to boil. We've got an onion here, three cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna chop that in half, take the skin off, and yeah, just chop up the onions and the garlic. Got the tomatoes. I like the ones on the vine. On the vine, off the vine. I like these tomatoes here. Wash them and then chop them in half like that down the middle. And these are sweet peppers here. Let me give you guys a closer look. Because I had these little sweet peppers, that's why I didn't end up using the big bell peppers over there. Just cut up the, the peppers like that. Coconut oil. And then add in the onion. The pot didn't start sizzling so I was too fast, like the, the, the oil wasn't hot enough and I added the onions too quickly but you know what, it doesn't really matter because it's going to cook anyway. Add in the garlic, tomatoes, peppers and uh, I think I just let that cook for a little bit, just keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the pan or so it doesn't burn. Checking on the potatoes now. As you can see, it's a bit firm still, so they need to cook a bit longer. I can't remember how long that's been in there for, maybe about five, ten minutes. Wash this broccoli, and now I'm just breaking it apart, or oh, taking off the little extra growth bits, and then I just break it apart like this into florets, I believe it's called, and then um, chopping it. I'm chopping, I'm chopping the broccoli, as you can see into small pieces. I like to chop my vegetables into smaller pieces just so they cook quicker. Add the broccoli in there. I add in the hard vegetables. When I do mixed veg I always add in like the harder vegetables early. That sweet potato still looks a bit firm now I'm looking back at it but I offed, I offed the fire so I mean clearly I thought it was ready. Drained it. Leave it there for a bit until I'm ready. 
so yeah as i was saying when it comes to cooking mixed veg um i tend to cook the harder vegetables first i always do the onions and garlic then i put the harder vegetables because they take longer to cook and then as those are cooking i'll prepare whatever other vegetables that i'm putting in that don't take as long to cook so yeah here i've got some okra and i'm just cutting it into pieces cutting off the ends because the ends are always a bit dirty even this okra now i'm looking back at it the okra look quite looks looks quite dirty but you know what we move that's it put the okra in and then just stir that around we need to add some seasoning mixed herbs just put a little little piece of that uh, spicy paprika I usually use smoked paprika I like that one a lot um, I'll probably be using that in another episode stir that around for a bit get the spices all incorporated garlic and chili And then just stir the vegetables like so added a little bit of water because it started to stick at the bottom a little bit you can either add a bit more water or oil so now it's time to make the mash while the vegetables are cooking in the other pot we're gonna make it cheesy so I've got some double Gloucester here um, a cheese grater some almond milk you can use whatever milk that you usually use but that's the milk that was in my fridge so that's what I'm about to use put a little bit of that in there grating this cheese with the camera in front of me was so difficult like you can just see me struggling I'm trying to figure out the most comfortable way and then that way was kind of comfortable and then I realized oh my arm is like right in front of the camera at this point my arm is around the whole tripod and I thought let me just do it like this I grate the cheese because it, it melts better and quicker um and easier like you can slice it but it just takes i don't know it's just cheese melts better when it's grated i should have put more cheese now i've actually had it um i should have put more cheese in because it didn't really taste too cheesy at the end of it but i've made this before and um it comes out quite nice keep mashing it until it gets soft there was still a few lumpy bits in my mash but you know I'm a home cook so now the fish is ready be careful when you open it and take it off the foil take off the foil wow it's 3 a.m. in the morning um, yeah that's why I cooked okay cool if you try out any of my recipes uh please show me thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you whenever i next post a video thanks bye